ILC is about awareness and education. We bring vision and leadership together for children and families afflicted with chronic pain. Elders danlos Syndrome is being used as a model of excellence for developing optimal care for a broad group of chronic pain diseases. Last year's uh, EDS conference in 2013 brought together a fascinating group of people including patients, uh, clinicians and researchers with the aim of trying to establish what would be necessary to put together guidelines going forward for best practice around both diagnosis and treatment of this problem. This year's conference promises to be equally if not more interesting. Before the ILC Foundation there was really no hope in my future but coming together and meeting other kids with Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome who live in chronic pain has given us a lot of hope. With last year and this year's ILC conference bringing together doctors from the United States and doctors in Canada has given such hope to be able to get help in Canada and get a nice diagnosis here, be able to get help in Canada without having to pay out of the pocket for surgeries in the state. And uh, what I hope after this ILC Foundation meeting, the first public meeting in Canada uh, for Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, is that Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome become a household name like diabetes in the medical uh, system. We have four generations of Ehlers-Danlos in our family. Uh, I'm very hopeful, very excited that um, the ILC Foundation Conference is being offered right now uh, is, is going to give the doctors um, a chance to set the protocol set the uh, best uh, best first practices for, for the medical community. Uh, as a family physician, I see great value in what the ILC has to offer, uh, particularly uh, with the peer support network, uh, with linking patients to the community services. Um, in family medicine, we're often the first to see complex uh, cases that require uh, multiple care needs and with further education and opportunities to meet colleagues um, such as we have today it'll um, provide an opportunity to link patients with community services and with specialists um, and coordinate care in an expedited fashion hopefully. As bringing doctors together it really bridges the gap that I think has been missing for so long in many rare diseases, um, specifically ED EDS in this case, because communication is so key and so necessary. It's not easy having a disease that nobody knows of. Uh, and I'm sure a lot of people have it without even knowing it. So. I think it's important that on the medical side, point of view, uh, doctors are more aware of, of it because I'm sure it's more frequent than we think. I'm really excited that the ILC is bringing doctors together to look at best, best practices for uh, Canada for Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome because it's something we desperately need and no one's done it before. Ehlers-Danlos affects somebody that I care about very much. What I like the most about these conferences is that for many years, doctors didn't know what she had, didn't know how to help her even if they didn't know what she had. And with these conferences, she can get together with other people that go through the same thing as her. And it's just a very helpful experience for everybody. I think just in general, um, a lot of things are going to change and I think that's really cool.